Hello, welcome, I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to be absolutely unstoppable when it comes to manifesting, how to be a manifesting master, how to honestly just be able to manifest anything like that. And I'm being really, really serious. There is an important distinction to understand. And knowing the difference between these two ways of manifesting really is the difference between you being totally masterful at this and not. So I'm, I'm excited to share this with you in this video. Before I jump in, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel right there or down below. And also know that I offer lots of self-study manifesting courses, courses to manifest anything you want, essentially money, specific person, new person, self-love, feminine energy, all the links are below. And then the last thing I'll say is that I am offering a giveaway every week. And this giveaway is for a bundle of three ebooks that I wrote. These are very popular ebooks, but the only way to get them now is through this contest. And the way you enter the contest is you comment below, you like this video, and you subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's jump in. How do you be absolutely unstoppable when it comes to manifesting? How do you become a total manifesting master? What I want to discuss in this video is that there is a big difference between two pathways people typically take um, when it comes to manifesting. The first pathway is the pathway of techniques. And the second pathway is the pathway of changing your knowing of yourself, changing your self-concept changing who you actually are in order to manifest. So let's talk about these two pathways. This the first pathway is the pathway of doing manifesting techniques. And while it's understandable that, you know, this is where most of us start out. We start out trying to manifest by doing techniques. So two techniques we do are the technique of living in the end, even though it's not really a technique, but you know, when you're trying to do it as a technique, it's a technique. Um, there's so many different techniques. There's scripting, there's visualization, there's all these different techniques to try to make your manifestation come, okay? What I have found in my own life is that Doing techniques, while they can be successful, and you can be successful at doing techniques, it's, it's true. If you want to be absolutely unstoppable at manifesting, and I'm being literal here, if you want to be absolutely unstoppable, you want to transition your practice from doing techniques to literally changing yourself. Changing who you are. So let's look at the difference between these two practices. Changing who you are or working with your self-concept is the absolute most potent way to manifest. The reason is, is your self-concept is your beliefs about yourself. And your beliefs in particular about yourself are the most potent manifester. What does this mean? It means that what you think and feel and absolutely believe about yourself, who you believe you are, is literally molding and shaping the outer world to give you evidence that that is who you are. So let's look at different ways you can shift your self-concept. One of the main ways, and people on my channel are, are looking to understand this, a big one is if you're manifesting a relationship, whether it's with a specific person or a new person, there are two very different self-concepts that you can have. A self-concept where you're single and trying to manifest someone, or the self-concept where you're in the relationship. You feel yourself as being in the relationship already. This is living in the end. This is the true living in the end. This is embodying the state of the wish fulfilled in a consistent way. And if you are consistently feeling like you're in a relationship in your imaginal realm, if you've created the new self-concept that that is the truth about you, regardless of what's happening in the outer world, it has to happen. You have to manifest the relationship. So the difference between self-concept and techniques is with a technique, you're often not changing your self-concept. 
And so when it comes to big manifestations, this is typically where people are going wrong because if you're for the most part thinking of yourself as someone who's not in a relationship, but you're doing techniques on top of that self-concept of someone who's not in a relationship, often the techniques aren't going to consistently anchor into your being enough for the manifestation to happen. So a, another way to say this is when it comes to big manifestations in particular, so manifestations when it comes to a uh, specific person, a relationship, or uh, money, these are larger manifestations. These are bigger things in our, in our worlds. And part of what is going on and why these can be harder to manifest or they can seem like they're harder to manifest than other things is because you have a lot of beliefs already going on about yourself with money, about yourself in a relationship or not in a relationship, about yourself uh, with your specific person. There's a lot of beliefs there. Those beliefs, that's the self-concept, is the thing that actually has to be changed. So again, if, you're, if you have the self-concept of, I don't have a lot of money and that's kind of more consistently how you feel, but then you're doing manifesting techniques on top of that that are trying to say, I do have money, but then like for the most part, you really don't feel like you are. You're probably not going to see results in the outer reality. And that's because your dominant inner experience is what manifests. I'll link my video on dominant, how dominant feelings manifest. This video is very popular. It helps clear things up for people. So your dominant inner experience is the thing that manifests. Your self-concept, who you think and feel and believe you are, is your dominant experience. So what do you do? How do you become a masterful manifester by changing your self-concept? You essentially just have to start knowing yourself to be someone that is different than who you are right now. So if you're manifesting a relationship, you're not in a relationship in the 3D reality, it looks like you're not in a relationship, but what you have to do is you have to start feeling yourself in that relationship. You feel yourself with your specific person. You feel yourself with your new person. You feel what it's like to be in this relationship in your imagination. You practice that feeling so it becomes so familiar to you. This is who I am. This is who I am. This is what it feels like. I'm in the relationship. I'm in the relationship. Or, you know, whatever it is that you're affirming and you want to create, you feel it inside of yourself first. By practicing that feeling, you're creating a new association of who you are. You're creating a new belief system about who you are. This is your self-concept. And when your self-concept changes, the outer reality has to change automatically. So it's actually just the most potent way to manifest. You don't even have to do techniques anymore. If you know you are in a relationship, if you know you are wealthy, if you know you are, you know, add in whatever you want to add in, if you know these things are true, it has to become true. It has to become true. So this is how you become an absolute master, master, master manifester. You change your self-concept. You change who you are, who you think and feel you are. The way you do that is simply by using your imagination, by using your ability to go within, feel within the infinite realm, choose to feel yourself as this new person, whatever it is that you want to become, and you will become it. Thank you guys so much for being here with me in this video. I love being here with you. Please make sure you subscribe and like and comment below and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.